Hi, I'm Mike Kent. I'm one of the professors at San Jacinto College that teaches computer literacy. I wanted to give you a tour of the Blackboard site you'll be using to take the computer literacy course and give you an introduction to our simulator software that teaches you many aspects of Microsoft Office and that's called SimNet. So here's SimNet right here. I'll be showing you more about this later. Let's go back to Blackboard. And when you come into Blackboard, first you should see an announcement. It's going to tell you to go to Start Here. So now that I'm in Start Here, you'll see the link for the orientation video, which is what you clicked on to hear this now, a course orientation, which is going to give you information, and some other links that are going to tell you detailed information. The next place you're going to want to go after Start Here is Syllabus Calendar, and this is going to have your course syllabus from your professor. Sometimes it's called a first day handout. That's what I like to call it. It's going to have the course calendar, which is going to tell you when everything's due and tell you about the textbook, SimNet, and having Microsoft Office 2013. So I'm going to go back to start here. And if you go to the course orientation right here, you've got to click on this title. And it's going to open it up. And you can see it's 15 pages. So go through these and read these. And you're going to get information you need to know. But let's talk about the syllabus calendar. So the first day handout, let me open this up for you. You see right here, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. It has your, it will have your professor's contact information. It will have an overview of the class and grading, and it will have much more detailed information on the following pages. But here's office hours, uh, the last day to drop the class. A couple things on this first day handout you got to remember is that tests are 60% of your grade and labs are 40%, but you got to have a 60 on both to pass the class. We will be using SimNet. You have to have it. Otherwise, uh, you can't do the class. Uh, you got to have Office 2013. Otherwise, you can't do the class. The good news is if you get the book from the bookstore, it comes with both SimNet and a 180-day trial version of Microsoft Office. The ebook version also comes with all that. If you just buy it from the McGraw-Hill website directly, you will not have Office 2013. So you're either going to have to go buy Office 365 or the student edition of Office 2013, or you're going to have to come on the college campus and use one of the labs that has Office 2013. So that's the first day handout. Uh, the course calendar is going to have all the important dates. Now, this course calendar you're looking at right here is for my Summer 1 class, which is five weeks long. So you can see there's stuff due almost every day because it's a five-week class. Now, if you're taking this as a 16-week class, of course, all this is going to be spread out over 16 weeks. But print this calendar out or save it. Follow it to make sure you're staying caught up on everything. Okay? I'm going to close this window, go back to Blackboard. Now, where are you going to do all your work for this class? That's going to be under Course Content. Oh, before I go to Course Content, of course, you want to click on the Faculty Profile. This should have all your, faculty, your professor's information, which should also be on that course syllabus. But let's go to Course Content now. And you can see uh, you're going to have an orientation assignment. I have an orientation assignment for your first assignment in my class. Your professor may not, or they may put it somewhere else. And then after you've done this assignment, you're going to work each of these folders right here. Computer Concepts, Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. That's the five parts of the class. Each one of these has assignments. Each one of these has a discussion board. And then you're going to have a practice test and a test. And you're going to do that according to the calendar. Now, for the orientation assignment, what you're going to do is download this Word document, answer the questions in it, and then you're going to submit it back to Blackboard. And the way you submit it back is you have to click right here on the title. Then you have to scroll down to Browse My Computer and go find the file you want to attach. And then finally you hit Submit. Okay, That's not real detailed, but that's that's the major parts of turning in an assignment to Blackboard. Okay, now I'm going to go into Computer Concepts here and let me show you how the flow of the class is going to work. So in Computer Concepts, you're going to get some commentary on every one of these sections. You're going to get some commentary. You're going to get the learning objectives. 
And then you're going to get a checklist that says, here's everything you have to do for this unit. Okay, it's not a bad idea to print this out. Uh, so you can make sure you've done everything. So you can see first we're going to do a discussion board, which is right here. Next, you're going to read chapter one and you're going to go on to SimNet and complete the SimBook activity for chapter one. So here's the chapter one SimNet. That's what the icon's going to look like on SimNet. Okay, then you've got the book PowerPoint you can look at, and it's either on here as a PDF or as a PowerPoint document. The next thing we need to do is we're going to do some lessons from uh, SimNet. And this is just a reminder. Your professors will probably put the due dates with this. If not, you're going to have to follow that calendar. Now, after you've done the concepts on SimNet, the lessons, then you're going to take a quiz on Blackboard. The next step is to watch these videos. Then you're going to set up a SkyDrive account. And then, um, then you're going to take a practice exam for the computer concepts, which you can take up to three times, and we'll show you the wrong answers. That's on, you know, after you've done all the other work. And then finally, you get one shot at taking the actual test on SimNet. Now, when you take the test, it's going to have simulated activities. You're going to get three shots at doing them correctly. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So, this is the concepts chapter. If I go back to course content, after I finish concepts, of course, I'm going to go to Word. And Word's going to be similar. You're going to get some commentary, objectives, a checklist of what you're supposed to do. It starts out with a discussion board. Then you're going to do chapter one. And in chapter one, you're going to do a sim book. You're going to do a guided project where you're going to download a file to Word, in this case, and then turn it back into SimNet. And then the same thing for an independent project for SimNet. Uh, and here's the files you need. Here's the PowerPoint for the chapter. And here's any data files you need for this chapter. So. I'm going to switch over to SimNet now. Now, the way you get to SimNet is you can hit this button right here, and that will bring you straight to SimNet. Now, just to save time, I've gone ahead and logged into SimNet in the student view. So now I'm in SimNet in the student view, and you can see all the different things I need to do in SimNet by due date. So the first thing for this summer class is to do the overview of Chapter WAP Windows 8, Office 2013, and it's due June 4th. Now, you can hit the Do Soon button over here on the left that just shows you what's coming up due. You can hit the Submitted button to see what you've completed. Uh-oh, I have not completed anything. I'm going to go back to All. Okay. Now, just to show you how this works, I went ahead and I have uh, partially completed some of the exercises. So I'm going to come up here to the top. I'm on Assignments right now. I'm going to go over to Grades. Now, under Grades, you can see I have done 82% of the overview of Chapter 1. And if you look a little lower, I've done 80% uh, of the Word Chapter 1. I haven't done the concepts. I haven't done the computer concepts. So I can see my grades, and these grades will come over to Blackboard and automatically. You won't have to do anything. And in Blackboard, of course, you're going to hit the My Grades button, or you're going to go to Tools, My Grades, depending on how your professor has it set up. So let's go back to Sim. I'm going to go back to Assignments, and I'm going to uh, launch one of these. So let me launch uh, Chapter 1, Windows 8. Now, this is one that I'd almost completed. Now, when I come in here, it says, do you want to open the sim book? That's what you're going to want to do. You're not going to get this reset progress button. I get that as a professor. Now, look down here, though. This is everything you have to do on this one. So you see, I have done an exercise. I've done the first exercise on this page. It's done. I've done two out of three on this one. So I've only got two exercises left. Now, right here, there's nothing you have to do to turn it in. Just to get the check mark, you have to go through those pages. But I'm going to say Open Sim Book. And the Sim Book is the textbook. This is exactly what you have in your textbook. Here's page one. I'm going to go to the next page. I can read this. As I scroll down, it's telling me about Windows 8. At some point, as you go through this, it's going to have 
like some interactive exercises. And I'm going to go through and read this. I can read this from my paper book. Here we are. Here's the first paper exercise. It has three things you can do. You can do a show me where it shows you with a little video the task you need to do. It has a guide me that steps you through it, and then it has a let me try. Now, here's what I find works best for this. A lot of this stuff you're already going to know, so I recommend you go straight to let me try. And if you have trouble, then you can back up to show me and guide me. So let me do a let me try right here for this activity, and you can see how it works. Now, sometimes it takes a little while to launch these, especially for the first one. It's launching SimNet, the let me try and we're waiting for it to load. Here we go, it's just about here. And it hasn't drawn the window yet, so it says open the help dialog box. Hmm, I wonder how I do that. So I gotta come over and I've got to hit the question mark. And it says correct. Click to advance to the next step. So I gotta click the mouse to go to the next step. Then after a little bit of a pause, it's going to tell me up here, display articles on the subject of pivot tables. So I've got to come into the box up here, erase what's there, and say pivot tables. Oops, got a typo. Then I can press enter. Incorrect! I must have typed it wrong. Yes, I misspelled pivot just my luck doing this on a video. So piv, pivot table, press enter. It says correct. Isn't that wonderful? I'll click to continue. It's going to bring up the pivot table items and then it says display an article about pivot tables. So I got to click on this link right here. It says correct. Now I have a uh, I've gone through this, and the last step it wants me to do is close the dialog box, so I'm going to hit the X. It says correct. And now it puts me back into the book because I've completed this Let Me Try. And I don't know if you noticed, but this has a check mark on it now, showing that I have finished it. So uh, I'm going to go back a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just keep going through pages. I'm going to go to the next page. Now you see this let me try already has a check mark on it because I've already done it. So I can, and that one, I can keep going. I don't have to do those. I've already done them. All the ones on this page I've already done. And at some point as I go through this, I'm going to come up on one that I haven't finished. There's another let me try with a check mark. Aha, here's one I have not done. Do you see the different symbol? So this one I need to do to, confini to, to finish the exercise and get my grade. Let me click on it. It's going to take a second to load. And it says, display the share area of the backstage view. So backstage view just means you've got to click on the file button. And then I want to click on share. There it is. Correct. Then it says get a sharing link, so I'm going to click on that. And once again, it's giving me feedback through every step of this. And it says create link, and it says click the create link button for the view link. Okay, so right here, create link. Correct, you have successfully completed the task. Now it has a check mark. I can continue going through the chapter reading, or you can read on your paper book. But you've got to go through and do all these let me tries to finish the activity. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and back back out of this. I'm going to hit the uh, X. You can also put a bookmark, by the way, if you see the bookmark right here. And if you have just the ebook but you want to print out a couple pages, you also have a print button. Okay? So uh, I'm going to hit X. Oh, this is the table of contents. This, you know, I can switch quickly between anything in it. And finally, uh, I'm going to hit X here. Are you sure you really want to exit? And if I go back to my grades, you should see now, oh, look at that, I'm at a 91. I wasn't an 85. Uh, if I go back to assignments, once again, and click on this, and say, and look down here, I can see that I've only got to do one more activity to get a 100 on this, because I've done this one, I've done all six of that, I've only got one left, and then I can go through these pages and get the check marks. But you want to get it up to a 100, so you can always check your grades, and then I would be ready to go back, 
go and do the next assignment. So the next assignment, and once this is completely done, it'll move down to my submitted area. It'll move down to the bottom, and I can see the next thing I need to do. Lessons are a little bit different. They're more like, uh, this is where we're going to give you comp uh, concepts and computer terminology. What I want to do now, though, is I want to show you a practice test. So I'm going to go to the practice test for, uh, let's just go to the word practice test. I'm going to just scroll down here to this practice test. Now, practice tests do not count as a grade. Uh, they will neither hurt you nor help you on your average. The real test will. So it's launching the test. Now, whenever you do a test question on SimNet, it's going to give you three tries. The difference between the practice test and the real test is each try you do on the practice test, it's going to give you a hint if you miss it and tell you exactly what you need to do to complete that task. On the real test, you still get three tries, but it doesn't give you the hint. So I'm going to say start exam. So what's it asking me to do here? Add a cover page to the document using the ion dark style. Uh, so I've got to go to insert pages cover page and then I want the ion dark oh, so far so good and then I'm gonna add head over hills day spa to the company name so I'm gonna click in the company name and let's see if I can type better this time head over hills day spa and then it says, when you're done, click in the content of the company address. So correct, it says I did it right. Isn't that wonderful? Now I've done question one out of 50. I got it on my first attempt. Isn't that great? I'll click OK. And now I'm on question number two. Oh, and it wants me to convert the selected text to a multi-level list using 1A style. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deliberately screw this one up. Uh, I'm going to make it a bulleted list. It says, oh, you did it wrong. So on the practice test, it says on the home tab in the paragraph group, kick the multi -level list, click the multi-level list button. So it tells me exactly how to do it, and I can fix it. Now, one thing you may see when you're in SimNet is it just told me how to do that question, question number two, but look what it did. It moved me to question three. I can hit the back button to go back to question two, and now I'm on my second attempt. I can also hit this little list right here. And you can see I got question one right. I got question two wrong. And I can skip around any question I want on the practice test. Now, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the practice test. The, uh, the real test is the same way, except it will not give you the hint if you get it wrong. It will just move you to the next question and then you can go back, you can hit this button right here and look through all your results and see which ones you need to redo or you can go back and do it immediately if you want to try it a different way. So uh, here's all the different questions I have to do on this test from the four chapters of Word. Now, of course you don't want to take the test right at first. I have not finished the exam but I'm going to exit out. Uh, and now you can see on the practice test, it's giving me feedback. It's saying learn. So any question you miss on the practice test, you can hit the learn button and it will go reteach you that item you missed. Okay. Now here, not only is it telling me uh, where this item is, it's telling me what page to go look for it. Okay. So you get really nice feedback when you're finished with the practice test. Now I'm going to go back to assignments. Of course, before you take a test, before you take the practice exam or you take the real exam, make sure you do all the training first. Make sure you do your sim books. Make sure you do your projects. And for Microsoft Word, you can see that there's a sim book for Chapter 1. There's projects for Chapter 1. There's a sim book for Chapter 2. There's projects for Chapter 2, Chapter 3 and chapter four and then you're going to have a practice test okay so you're going to get a practice test for each section of the class plus an exam so this is kind of an overview of SimNet 
And don't forget these buttons up here. Let me show you one other thing that's going to be real important to SimNet. If you're ever having trouble, if you come all the way down to the bottom under Support, it says System Requirement Test. This is going to see, show you if your web browser is compatible. See, everything's green. Okay, going to go back to Assignments. The other thing you'll see down here at the bottom that I think is very important is technical support. If you're having problems with the SimNet website from McGraw-Hill, go to the help, either phone or email or do a chat, and get some help. So you're going to contact student online chat, or you're going to phone or email to get support. Okay? Your professor is probably going to ask you to do this first before... Uh, he or she gets involved with troubleshooting the SimNet website. So that's SimNet. This is Blackboard. Please remember whenever you're taking a computer literacy class that we're here to help you succeed. I'm here to help you succeed. When you're taking an online class, it's not a website. You have a professor at the other end who wants to help you, who's happy to help you. Take advantage of us. Let us help you succeed, knock this class out and get an A. Thank you very much.